Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. Last season, the Othello Huskies boys soccer team was fourth in the CWAC in total wins with 10. Despite all the non-conference success, the Huskies went 4-5 and five in the CWAC and had to battle with the Afraid of Tigers in the play-in game for districts. This year, the Huskies' season has taken a different turn. Othello struggled in non-league play, but have turned it on in their first two conference games. The Huskies beat Prosser on Tuesday, and Thursday night they went on the road to Afreda, where they beat the Tigers 3-0. The two wins put them on top of the CWAC, with no other team having more than one conference win so far. The Huskies led 1-0 after the first half, but managed to tack on two more goals in the second half for the convincing win. The Huskies have won three of their last four games, outscoring their opponents 16-4 during that span, with three of those four games being shutouts. Head coach Bernie Garza believes the team's recent success comes from finding the right lineup. We're like one and three in non-league, and non-league doesn't count. Non-league doesn't count for anything. We're just trying different formations, different goalies. And the last game, we, we finally got our starting goalkeeper, starting defense, starting midfield, and they showed with seven zero. Senior BJ Garza has stepped into more of a scoring role this season and has stepped up to the challenge, scoring four goals in the last two games, including two goals against the Freda. Hitting it hard to practice, you know, going hard, passing and stuff. And we're showing it out on the field, scoring and giving those good assists, those good passes, like I said. I didn't even move for the last one. It was just good passing. I just stood there. Nice goal. Simple like that. The Huskies advanced to 3-3 three and three on the season with a 2-0 conference record. They'll next play again on Tuesday when they host Hapanish. Afreda falls to 0-2 in the conference with a 1-6 overall record. They'll take a long break and will hit the field again next Saturday, April 6th, against East Valley of Yakima. I'm Adam Chkoski for iFiber One Sports. Oh, my God.